Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping it, thank you for joining us. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. So this channel is about tumblers and just crafts of all kinds. I love doing tumblers, this is my favorite. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. All the likes and the comments definitely help to grow the channel. And I'm so grateful, I'm so appreciative of everyone who has been so supportive as I have been trying to grow this channel and be able to bring the items that I'm doing to you. So with that said, I have this tumbler to talk about tonight. So we have been looking at the Rust-Oleum, the Imagine Color Shift. So we did the silver, and then remember we did it on the black, right? And then we did the silver. Let me grab that. So remember we did it on the silver. Okay, so now here it is on the blue. Isn't that really beautiful? So the blue base that I used was the sea glass. And I actually, you know, really did like this. It gave it like this type of an appearance. It was, it was actually pretty nice. So, but then when I put this over top of it, it just came to life. I hope you can see that. It is so, so beautiful. So the nice thing with this, with this paint. So again, it's the Rust-Oleum Color Shift. So this is Turquoise Waters. Now there is another blue I haven't gotten yet. And, but I will get it, try it, and we will put them together and see. But just so you can see, this is how it looks over top of blue. Very nice. Now this decal, so you know I've also been trying the wall decals, the vinyl wall decals from the Dollar Tree to sort of see how they look. And this is frozen. Look how great that looks. So I want you to be able to see, I mean, like it is so smooth. There is no, no notice of any line whatsoever. So you can see, like, I can't even tell you where the plastic clear part of the decal is, but I can tell. So, I mean, like on the decal, her arm, it's not like cut open in here. Like this is a pla this is clear plastic through there, but you cannot see any of that. You can see how good that looks. I mean, it just looks like her standing there. So these decals are definitely working out really nice. So if you don't have a Cricut or a cutting machine, this does give you an opportunity to be able to, you know, put some different things on your tumblers. And, you know, especially if you're, you know, looking for a specific, um, you know, type of logo, like Frozen or something like that. So this looks really good. Now, I'm not sure how it would go as far as selling something like this because I... Um, like, I don't sell Disney stuff like that. However, I mean, I'd find out about it because when you start talking about copyright, you're not, you didn't copy an image. Like, this is an actual, it's an actual Disney image that they made. You didn't copy somebody else's image and, you know, make it for your own. So, I'm not sure how that would work. But... You know, definitely if you're making them, 
you know, for yourself or to give as gifts. Absolutely perfect. The other part of that, I mean, I don't know the answer to. But these look really, really, really good. All right, so I just wanted to show you the blue like I said I would. And I've got some other really good ones going. The fluorescent is <laughs> also going to be amazing. Amazing. I've ordered some glow-in-the-dark powder to go inside epoxy. What I ordered apparently was on back order, so I'm waiting for it to come. Because I know we tried the glow-in-the-dark paint, so... We'll do the glow-in-the-dark powder inside the epoxy and see how that looks. And then I've got, so so we've done this one. We'll do the other blue, see how that looks. So I've got this one. So my plan was to do white with both of these, like maybe do an ombre, see how these look on white. And then to do this one on, see how it is on silver. If it's no different really than this one, then I'll probably paint over it. And then I want to do this one on black and then do this one on pink and see how it looks. And then this one, if you can see, so this one is called Green Copper Color Shift. So you can see how that looks. So, um, uh, this one on a bl I'll do on a black also, but I was thinking, you know, should I do it on like a copper or a gold base or maybe a brown base? Tell me what you think. If you have a, if you have a specific color you'd like to see how it looks on, let me know and I'll be happy to do that. And, um, yeah, so anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I hope you have a blessed and fantastic rest of the night. Thanks. Bye. All right. So here is our cup all dry. So this is with the Krylon Seagull. Let's take this off. This one, I thought, so again, we're still sticking with the wall decals because I have several that, you know, I'm just kind of trying out, seeing how they look. And this one I'm going to do frozen. And I thought this would be a great one for this one. So this one I painted all the way down, even the black rim, because I knew that I wanted to put her on it and she was a little tall. But I thought, look how gorgeous this color is. Isn't that beautiful? So I thought that this would be like a perfect like color for... Elsa. So I'm really excited to get epoxy on this and see how it looks. All right, so again, we have just a very small amount of epoxy, just one pump of each. And for those of you who don't know, I use the Envirotech Light from Michaels. I like it a lot. I use a coupon on it. It's made in the USA. It's FDA compliant for food.
and I feel like it's very easy to work with. I tried multiple, multiple kinds, and that is what I settled with, and it's been my favorite so far. Now, I do heat my epoxy. You know, like I've said many times, I don't suggest anybody to do anything not in the manufacturer's suggested guidelines. Um, however, you know, somebody I dated a long time ago whose hobby was working with epoxy um, taught me to heat it so that it goes on smoother and more even. And that works for me. Again, I am not a chemist by any means. Don't pretend to be. Um, I have, you know, Googled to see if I could find any reason why not to do it. I mean, because basically that's the what happens by mixing it together. That chemical combustion is, you know, causes heat. That's how it... how it works but anyways it works very well for me doing it that way so that's just my tip but not by any means am I suggesting to go beyond the you know I always say follow the manufacturer's guidelines always wear your PPE I don't care what anybody tells you Wear a mask and wear gloves. You want to protect yourself. All right, so I know that, you know, I've seemed to feel this way about all of them lately, but I am definitely digging this. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's dried. It's going to be beautiful. I am so impressed with this new paint. Like, I'm proud of myself for finding it. All right, so listen, I will see you when this is done. All right?